Hi friends, it's Wednesday night, so it's time for another family night craft. Today, we're doing an edible craft, something we all love, and we are making edible snowmen. So if you pick up a gill pack at Northeast Branch Library sometime this week, you will have a little packet of hot cocoa and all the other things you need, so marshmallows, pretzel sticks, and candy corn, chocolate chips, and you'll also need some sort of way to melt these. Um, so I recommend a, micro a microwave safe bowl, a spoon to stir the chocolate chips, and a pair of scissors that you'll then use to cut the tip of the bag off. So I'm going to pop my head up so you can watch my hands and let's get So the first thing I'm going to take are my marshmallows and my pretzel sticks. So every bag that you get at the library should have six marshmallows. That's enough to make two snowmen. So you need three for the first one. So I'm going to take out three marshmallows. And now we are going to use pretzel sticks to form the body. So we want to get all three in a row. So I think I wrote in my instructions that you should use one stick for all three, but I think what actually works best is connect two of them with one and then connect the last one on with another one. So got two, then I'll add another stick and add that to this. So we're basically using the pretzel sticks as our frame from our snowman. So yeah, we have three like that. That's our snowman's body. So let's add some arms. For my arms and legs, I like to actually snap this in half because otherwise it's a little long. And then I'm just going to poke it into my snowman's body. <laughs> so they're his arms. And I'm going to do the same thing for legs. So snap. And give him some little legs. <laughs> and the legs are optional. I know most snowmen don't actually have legs. Now, candy corn makes a perfect nose, like one with a bit of a point. So let's squish this in instead of a carrot. <laughs> They're a little hard to get to stick, but if it doesn't stick from being pressed in, we're actually about to melt some chocolate, so you could use that. So I have the base down. Now, if you look at the instructions, <laughs> Okay, let's try using chocolate next time, but basically you have the sort of shape of the body down. So I'm going to step away for a second. I'm going to take these chocolate chips, take them out of the bag, put them in a bowl, and heat them up in the microwave. When you're heating them in the microwave, I recommend just heating it for like 10 seconds at a time tops, and then stirring. You don't want to burn them. You could also try submerging this bag in some warm water, not boiling hot, um, and seeing if it melts melt up, but I think to get the smooth consistency, microwaving is the best. So yeah, I'm going to put them in a bowl, heat them up, stir them, and I will be right back. So as you can see, it's nice and melty. So what I'm going to do now is take the bag it came in again, and I'm going to just scrape it in there. Try to focus it on one corner. So, might be hard to see on screen right now. Scraping the bowl like this. Don't worry if you can get all the chocolate out of the bowl. It won't actually take too much chocolate for this. If you have a second set of hands, it would be good to have a family member, a friend help you. But we'll see how well Miss Angelie can do by herself. All right. It's a little gross, but there. It's my melted chocolate. So you want to close the bag. We don't need any chocolate explosion incidents. And then I'm just going to cut off the very tip of the bag. You want it very small. So let's see if I can get it on camera. There you go. So, take the, 
scissors and cut off the point. And now we can draw the snowman's face. So I'm going to start by getting our oops, candy corn on there. I've got the melted chocolate to hopefully hold it in place better, though it'll take a little while to dry. Oh, that looks a little terrifying. Oh boy. It's going to hold it in place. I think I cut the hole a little too big on mine. So instead of the cute eyes, I'm just gonna do little dots. Oh, this is so scary. All right, so this is take one. This is a little scary. Um, we're going to troubleshoot it. I think I'm just going to wait a little bit longer till the shell gets a little less melty and try again. We're gonna try doing another snowman face. Let's see if it's better. So I tried cutting a smaller hole in the other side of the back. Let's see what we can do. Okay friends, this is the key. Make sure you only cut the tiniest bit of the top of your bag. That's much less scary, right? <laughs> okay, so remember tiny, tiny little cut there. And if we add in our candy corn, it'll look so cute. Or not. <laughs> the dried and chocolate does seem to keep the nose in place though. Here's my horrifying snowman. Um, take note from the other one, it cut the hole smaller and it won't look so scary. I hope you have a great holiday season. Thanks for tuning in this week and make sure you check our channel next Wednesday at 5.30 for another Family Nightcraft. Have a good rest of your week.